Hey guys, Team Mike signing in, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video in which I'll be talking about overpowered BPL players. I'll be doing more videos like this on different leagues, so hopefully you do go on to enjoy it. And at the time of making this video, the game isn't fully out, so I'm doing this based on the stats of these players, as well as how they performed in previous FIFAs. So hopefully when the game is fully out, these guys are beasts. Getting straight into this, I'm going to be starting off with some overpowered BPL goalkeepers, and here we have Howard, Hart, Lloris, Vorm, and Begovic. Howard has been a good goalkeeper for a while as most of you probably know he's got decent stats as you can see there's got 82 diving 82 reflexes and 81 positioning he's a pretty solid goalkeeper to use and that's why i think he'll be pretty op next to him we have joe hart in the season so far he's not conceded any goals he's got the most clean sheets out of all keepers in the premier league if i'm correct and hopefully this should reflect on him and fifa and he should be an insane keeper to use and given the fact that he's only 83 rated i have a feeling his card will be beat Next we have Lloris, now I think his rating has actually been brought down from last FIFA, he might have been an 86 or 85, not too sure, but given the fact that he's 84 rated, he's got some insane stats as you can see there, 86 diving, 88 reflexes, 81 positioning, 82 handling, he is a beast keeper. Next to him I've gone with Vorm, as you guys can see he's a non-rare gold but for those guys looking to build cheap BPL teams at the start of FIFA he'll be a goalkeeper to go for, he's got 83 diving, 84 reflexes, 79 positioning and 75 handling, they're not the highest starts but for a non-rare gold this guy is insane. Finally we have Begovic, now this guy is 82 rated, last FIFA he was a beast and according to his stats this year he should be as well, he's got 83 diving, 84 reflexes, 80 positioning, 80 handling, this guy is just an all rounder good keeper, he should be one a lot of you guys will probably end up using in your BPL team and that's why he's made it into this list. Moving on to the centre backs, as you can see there we have some pretty OP centre backs, we have Mbemba, Okore, Otamendi, Richards and Ogbonna. Bemba, I think is a new centre back to the BPL, he's got 82 pace, 79 physical, 78 defending, I mean for a 77 rated gold player, what else do you want guys, this guy is a beast and you'll probably be seeing a lot of him about in BPL squads. Moving on we have Okore, he's a rare gold who's been upgraded from a silver, he's got 81 physical, 76 defending, 83 physical, once again for a 77 rated centre backs, what else do you need? Next thing we have Otamendi who's the new addition to the BPL, 75 pace 86 defending 82 physical this guy has some solid stat he's 84 rated but i think he deserves that rating and with the stats this guy has he should be an absolute beast now Richards is another one of those OP centre backs you're going to be seeing a lot of people using, he's got 76 pace, 78 defending and 85 physical and if you're someone who's currently building a BPL team, I'm pretty sure he's a player you need to use because with these stats he looks like he's going to be beast. And finally we have Ogbonna, he's a transfer from the Serie A, he's got some insane stats on his card as you can see, 83 defending, 8 physical and 73 pace, I know he's only got 73 pace and that's not the fastest but according to a lot of people they say pace won't be much of an issue on this game so you won't really need to rely on it and with that said he should be an insane centre back to use. On to the full backs we have a nice mixed selection here and as you can see we have Holobus, Klein, Aspicleta, Baba, Bellerin and Walker now these all look like decent cards starting off with Holobus he looks like a decent card he's a transfer from the Serie A 84 pace not the fastest I know but he's 81 physical and 76 defending he looks like he should be an absolute beast next to him we have Klein 86 pace, 79 defending, 76 physical, you're probably going to see this guy overused and because he's only got 86 pace he might be cheaper than some of the other players I'm going to be going through here. Aspicola is another insane card, I know he's only got 80 pace which isn't the fastest but he's got 84 defending and 76 physical which is pretty decent for a left back, he's got 74 passing as well which means you can actually get him to go up the wing and cross balls in, he looks like a decent card and he should be another overrated player. Next him we have Baba, he's a new Chelsea transfer as you can see 86 pace 76 dribbling 75 defending 74 physical i haven't really seen him used much in real life but in fifa i'm guessing this guy's going to be a beast he's quite fast for a left back he's got decent defending stats and he should be one to look out for and you guys all know bellerin from last year he was a bronze he's been upgraded to a silver a high silver that as well at 74 rated and he has 91 pace 72 defending, 74 dribbling, I mean he doesn't have the highest stats but he is a silver, he is fast and he should be able to defend and he's going to be a pretty overpowered player if you ask me. 
And finally with Kyle Walker who's been an OP player for the past few FIFAs, 90 pace there, 80 physical, 77 defending, what else do you need in 79 rated? He's just a beast. On to my central midfielders, we have Ramirez, Kiate, Fernandinho, Paya and Eriksen. Now these cards look insane. Ramirez as always is fast. He's got 81 dribbling, 78 defending, 73 physical. He should be a reliable player and I'm guessing he's going to be OP in the game. Kiate is another one. He's been upgraded from a silver. He's OP. 87 physical guys just look at that he's got 87 physical which is just insane on a 75 rated player he's got 77 defending 76 pace and if you ask me these are pretty op stats fernandinho has well-rounded stats as you can see 77 pace 80 dribbling 74 shooting 74 defending 78 passing and 77 physical he should be a pretty decent center midfielder to use and i'm guessing you'll be able to use him as a cdm as well as his stats are quite well balanced he's one I'm looking forward to using. He should be cheap as well, and he's definitely going to be overpowered. Next, we have Payet, and as you can see, he's got some pretty decent stats for an 81 rated player. 77 pace, 81 dribbling, 82 passing, and 76 shot. A lot of people are going to use him. He should be a pretty cheap player to get as well, so you should be able to see him in quite a few cheap BPL teams. And if you're looking to build on yourself, he's a player you should consider using. And finally, we have Ericsson, the Tottenham Denmark beast whatever you want to call him this guy has been insane for the past couple of FIFAs especially in FIFA 15 he was insane and I'm guessing he's going to be overpowered once again in FIFA 16 he has 77 pace 83 dribbling 75 shooting and 84 passing that pass is key given the fact that he's a center attacking midfielder and yeah he should be another overrated player to look out for. onto the wingers we have absolute sweat I'm just gonna get that out the way before I even go through them these guys are just sweaty we have Shakiri, Ibarbo, Walcott, Velassi, Dupay and Sterling. Shakiri's card looked insane. He's only got 87 pace, I know, but he's got 85 dribbling, 74 physical, 77 passing, 77 shooting. He's got some pretty decent stats for a winger or a right midfielder, and his card should be OP to use. I actually can't wait to use him. Next, we have a barbell transferred from the Serie A. 92 pace, 82 dribbling, 78 physical, 71 shooting. You're going to be seeing this guy in a lot of sweat squads if you're building one yourself. Especially a BPL squad squad, he's a guy you're definitely going to want to use. He's definitely going to be overpowered. He has been for the past couple of FIFAs, so I can't see it changing now. Now, Walker, as most of you guys know, is pacey. He's got 96 pace, 81 dribbling, 77 shooting, 74 passing. He can cross those balls in. He's been overpowered for the past few FIFAs. He's definitely going to be overpowered in this one. A lot of people are going to use him at the start and towards the end of FIFA. I doubt a lot of people use him as much. But he's definitely going to be an OP player to use. And yeah, I just thought I'd throw him in the list. Next to him with Balassi. Now last year at the start of FIFA 15, he was a silver. He got upgraded a few times. And now he has 88 pace. This guy is just a beast. He's got 5 star skills as well. 83 dribbling, 79 physical. His physical is really important when you're using him. He just powers through a lot of players. Well, he did in FIFA 15. And I'm guessing within FIFA 16, he'll basically be the same type of player but faster and because of this he should be an OP player. Depay is another new transfer we're seeing in this video and this guy is OP. He was OP when he played in the Eredivisie as well so I'm guessing he's going to be pretty much the same if not better in the BPL. The only thing that annoys me about him is the fact that they've brought it down his skill moves. He's now 4 star instead of 5 star but apart from that he's got decent stats as you can see they're 90 pace, 85 dribbling, 75 physical, 78 shot, 73 passing. The only bad stat he has is his defending. A Apart from that, he's a well-rounded player and he should be pretty good to use and most definitely overpowered. And finally we have Sterling, transferred from Liverpool to City, this guy's a beast, 93 pace, 87 dribbling, 73 passing, 71 shooting, what else you want in an 82 rated left mid? He's going to be one of the fastest left mids in the Premier League, a lot of people are going to try get their hands on him, I'm not sure if he'll be very very cheap at the start of FIFA but he'll definitely be an overpowered player to use. And last but not least, here we have the strikers. As you can see, we have Sturridge, Mane, Juf, Edder and Wilson. Now, I've mixed it up here, throwing some non-rares and silvers and I'll explain why in a minute. But starting off with Sturridge, 
He's got 89 pace, 81 dribbling, 83 shooting, 70 physical. He doesn't seem like the strongest of players when you look at his stats. In FIFA 15 though, he just went past people like they weren't even there. And because of this, I honestly think he's going to be overpowered. Now, Mane has been upgraded from a silver to a gold player. He used to play as a left wing player as well. So it's pretty insane that they've put him as a center forward which means you can put him as a striker if you want this guy is some insane stat he's got 91 pace 81 dribbling 70 passing 73 shooting i mean he's not the strongest but for a 78 rated player he's got some pretty op stats and because of that you're going to see a lot of people using him and he's definitely going to be an overpowered player and onto his fellow countrymen we have juve juve now has 90 pace that's all i have to say with this guy the fact that he's that fast is just going to be crazy last fifa he only had i think 86 pace he could get past most players and he had a bit of strength about him i'm guessing in this fifa he's going to be pretty much the same but faster so he should be definitely one to look out for for players who like crossing the ball into the box he will probably be the main man to use and like i said he's got that 90 pace he also has 77 physical 77 shooting so he should be another decent player to use now onto the non-rare gold here we have edda now he's another transferred player this guy was op last fifa i'm guessing and i'm hoping this fifa is going to be the same he is 82 physical, 77 pace, I know which isn't the fastest, but for people looking to build cheap BPL, overpowered teams, he's the guy you're going to need to use because he looks like he'll be able to get past everyone. In the last FIFA, he pretty much, he literally destroyed most people's defenders. He was in a pretty bad league, so you know, a lot of people didn't use him because there weren't a lot of good players to link up with him, but now he's in the BPL. Oh my freaking days, guys. Things are going to be going down. The overpowered squads are just going to be too over the top. And finally, we have a silver, and it's Wilson of Bournemouth. This guy has 91 pace, 74 dribbling, 76 physical, 73 shooting. He's a 74 rated silver like this guy deserves to be a gold with some of the stats he has on his card i don't think this guy will be cheap but you know for those who can afford him and if he does by chance happen to be cheap he's definitely going to be a player to use with those stats alone you can tell he's going to be overpowered and there's not much else i really need to say about this guy nevertheless that's pretty much it for this video so i hope you guys did enjoy it if you want to see more of these let me know down in the comment section if you think there's players i missed out on players i should have added in this video let me know down in the comment section down below i also want to quickly add in that i didn't want to put in the high high rated players because they're not really overpowered they're meant to be that good and they're probably going to be expensive so i wanted to stick to the more lower rated players with that being said that's about it for this video make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you're new and for today this is t-max signing out thanks for watching guys and see ya <laughs> this is the end of the video hi yeah. if you enjoyed just comment and subscribe want to see more don't forget to leave a like do it <laughs> this is t-max signing out